if you go back to the mini lecture that's on um, taking finding the concentration of species in solution given Ka, a second part of that problem is uh, is this is this part here. Given the concentration of H plus for H two O adjusted for five percent rule as being four point five times ten to the negative seven molar, does the concentration of H plus from the dissociation of water need to be considered in the above calculation? Why or why not? So in this calculation, what we discovered was that the concentration of H plus from the HCNO was 0 0.00798 molar. Now what we're talking about here when we're talking about the H plus from dissociation of water is this. H2O itself can split up into H plus plus OH minus. So that's what we're talking about is that not only are we getting H plus from the acid, we're also getting H plus from the water. How much? Well, we're going to say about 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. So what I'm saying is that if this number is large enough in relation to this number, then what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to end up considering the concentration of H plus from the water as being part of the concentration of H plus of the entire solution. But here's what we notice. If we've got a value like this, 0 0.00798, and just for fun, I wanted to add 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 to that value. I'm going to get something that's, once we take significant figures into account, is not going to change this value. That's because this value is very, very much larger than the 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7. So what I'm saying is the concentration of H plus from this acid is far greater than any concentration of H plus we're getting from the water. So much so it completely overwhelms the H plus from the water that would mean that the H plus from the water would not need to be considered in this instance. Well, let me give you an example of when it might need to be considered. In the weak acid, HCN, we get H plus and CN minus and just for argument's sake the concentration of H plus we might come up with for this because it is such a weak acid might be somewhere in the realm of say 5 times 10 to the negative 8 molar say 5.0 times 10 to the negative 8 molar that's a pretty small amount of H plus if we know that the H2O is splitting up into H plus and OH minus, and that the concentration from of H plus is going to be 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7. Now you can see that the concentration we're getting from the H plus and the concentration of the H plus from the water is now comparable. Because I, if I try to take 5.0 times 10 to the negative 8 and I add 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 to that, what I'm going to get is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7. So in this instance, the concentration of H plus from water would definitely need to be taken into account. So I guess what you're looking for is some sort of dividing line. At what point do we consider it? At what point do we not consider it? I would say as a general rule, I'll write this down here, if the concentration of H plus from your acid is, we'll say, uh, greater than 
say 10 to the negative 5 or even 10 to the negative 6 then the H plus from the water need not be considered So what we're saying here is that if the H plus from the acid is greater than that, 10 to the negative 5, 10 to the negative 6, it's going to be so much greater than 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 that this 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 value for the H plus won't even need to be considered. However, if it's less than these, especially less than 10 to the negative 6, then we're getting into the realm where the H plus from the water would begin to matter and it would need to be considered. Now in this problem, I'm not asking you to actually do any calculations. All I'm asking you to do is figure out whether the H plus from the water would need to be considered. And it would need to be considered if the H plus from your particular acid happened to be comparable to the amount of H plus we were getting from the water. So applying this to our particular problem where we found out the concentration of H3O plus from HCNO was 0 0.00798. What I would say to answer this question is concentration of H3O plus is 0 0.00798 and this uh, molar, uh, that's for HCNO, and this far exceeds the H plus for water based on the 5% rule which came out to be 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. Therefore it is uh, it's the, the H plus from the dissociation of water is negligible and need not be considered here.